Hello brothers and sisters, I love you guys so much and I'm happy to be with you again today. Uh, in this video, I just want to talk about music and the reason that I wanted to talk about this is because I've seen, a, a, there's a lot of people who, ha, who feel that if music, okay, I quote, if music isn't glorifying God, then it's glorifying Satan, unquote, or, quote, if the music's not glorifying God, then it's evil, and don't listen to it, unquote. So anyway, um, this is just kind of a response, my response to this kind of um, a statement, and before I, before I even really get into it that much, I just want to say music that glorifies God is the best kind of music, so before I even say anything, that's how I feel, and I, I love worship music more than any other kind of music, but um, I just want to talk about it. Um, I think there is, I'm going to talk about two kinds of music, that is secular music versus ungodly music. Um, Ungodly music to me just means that it's evil, satanic, and wicked music. It's basically sin in the form of sound. And to me, secular has two meanings in a way. There's secular music that is that is ungodly music, and then there's secular music that is simply, it's just not talking about God, it doesn't have anything to do with it. Um, anyway... I'm not here to give specific artists that you should or shouldn't listen to, but um, I just wanted to share the way that I see it, the way that I feel about the kind of music that should or shouldn't be listened to, the type, not the people, exactly. Um, to me, ungodly music is any kind of music that is um, under the Illuminati or any kind of music that... Like if you're if you're actually a born again Christian and you've got the Holy Spirit, then when you there's certain kind of music that you listen to it and it's like uh, this isn't this isn't right this is dirty this is unclean filthy music, any kind of music that is glorifying any kind of sin, any music that's glorifying idolatry or lust like fornication, um, greed or just anything that glorifies what is against the Bible, against what Jesus taught us, against how we're taught that we're supposed to be, how we're supposed to live. Um, and there's a lot of music that does that, to be honest. I feel like, I mean, to be honest, I don't, I don't really like to listen to the, the radio because most of the radio is secular music on the ungodly side. It's, it's ungodly. A lot of it is Illuminati, and there's just very little music. Like I've, um, I've deleted a lot of my music because I feel like just a lot of it is just, it's ungodly. It's far, it's not of God at all. And that's the kind of music that I say don't listen to, or that's bad to listen to. The kind that when you listen to it, it makes you feel sick in the spirit because it's filthy. But now on just normal secular music that is not it's not singing about God but at the same time it's not sinful I think that's the kind of music that's okay to listen to um, and what I mean by that is like if there's a song that's basically just think of everyday conversation like maybe talking about school or talking about nature or talking about um, just a friendship or something with someone, if that gets put in the form of music, I think, I just imagine it like everyday conversation just being put in uh, a melody and then put music in the background or, I mean, I don't really see anything bad about that. Like maybe if a song lyric says something about I rode my bike all the way from my house to, I don't know, someplace, like that's not, it's not sinful. Music that's not sinful is not evil just because it's secular in the way that it's not talking about God. Like, it's not automatically evil. Because if that were the case, then you might as well call the ABC song evil because, I mean, really, the ABC songs that you teach to kids, if 
if truly any songs that is not talking about God is automatically evil, then the ABC song is satanic. And so is, um, so are instrumentals. Just like instrumentals that aren't even having any lyrics at all. Um, so there's no lyrics in it, so of course it's not talking about God, it's not talking about anything, but there's just an instrumental. Like, that's like saying that instrumentals are evil. And I just think, I mean, I guess I can see where they're coming from. Like, worship music is the best kind of music. But at the same time, I feel like it's a bit, a bit misleading in, in my, the way that I feel about it. It might be a little unreasonable to say that anything that's not singing about God is automatically evil. Um, like, maybe let's say that someone writes a song to their mother or something just just singing their appreciation to their mom and all that their mom did for them in their life and how much they love their mom. Or maybe someone is writing a love song to their spouse and it's it's decent, there's nothing sinful about it. Or let's say that someone is writing a song about friendship or a song about something that's uplifting to someone else, telling them to believe in themselves or something. Like, that's not satanic. It's not singing about God, but it's not evil at the same time. Um, and then there is secular music that's not talking about God, that is not talking about anything either good or bad. Like, like I'm just going to give, like, just a random sentence or a few. Like, for example, I woke up in the morning and... I went to the store. Like that's my statement. Now let's put music to that. Let's put music in the background and then put that statement in the form of a melody. Is it evil and satanic? No. It's not good or bad. It's nothing. It's just I don't know what to call that, but that's what I'm talking about. Or let's say like I I drove down the street and I got out of the car and I don't know, I went to somewhere like went somewhere with my friend just because you put music in the background to that and then you, you you sing it it doesn't make it evil it's neither good nor bad it's not talking about anything bad it's not talking about anything good it is secular because it's not talking about God but it's not automatically evil and that's just what I feel like um, the bad kind of music that you shouldn't listen to is anything having to do with the Illuminati or even if if on the surface it doesn't sound bad but you find out that it actually is, that's the kind of music that you just cut off and you don't listen to because to be honest, um, the devil can work through music. Like if, if it's the kind of music that when you listen to it, it, it somehow it for whatever reason makes you want to do bad stuff or it makes you want to sin, you shouldn't be listening to that kind of music. I think a lot of times when um, like a lot of people who like to listen to rap music or like hip hop, like I mean the kind of that that is pretty much ran by the Illuminati. They the things that they do are bad. They put all their trust in money and material wealth and women and seeing how many women they can have or all this stuff that's sinful. That's the kind of music you don't want to listen to. That's the kind of secular music that's on the ungodly side. Um uh, the devil can work through music. Like it's kind of like I see it as if you listen to that kind of secular music, it makes you. It kind of like opens up your mind. It pretty much gives the devil an opening to to get into your mind. And when you listen to lyrics that are sinful and wicked, then it plants itself in your head. And then maybe without you even realizing, it, it starts to manifest in your life. So if, there, if that's the kind of music that secular, then you don't, don't listen to that kind of secular music, but if it's just music talking about like, I don't know, enjoying the day that God made, or if it's music singing about love, like loving your family, or just the kindness of a friend or something, like God made good things, so what's wrong with singing about good things, or just even things that aren't singing about anything good or bad, it's not talking about God at the same time, I don't see how that's harmful to you. Now, I say if, if, if you listen to some kind of music and for whatever reason, even if, if it seems to be totally fine, it's not good or bad, when you listen to it, it makes you feel bad, it makes you feel sick, it makes you feel sad, it makes you feel angry or depressed or anything, cut that off. That's the kind of stuff that you don't want to listen to. 
So I just feel like um, not all music that's not talking about God is evil. And um, I also say, I think it's just really important, if, if you get a bad feeling from hearing a certain type of song or whatever, then just put it down because chances are it's probably a, a spirit bomb. What I, mean, what I mean by that is it's basically the devil's taking an opening and, and affecting you through that kind of music. So that's the kind of music that you don't want to listen to. I feel like when music is evil, you know it's evil. Like you can see the signs, you can you can hear what you hear, it makes you feel bad, it makes you feel like it's it's unclean to listen to, that's the kind of music that you don't want to listen to, but the secular music that is just not really talking about anything good or bad, or it is talking about something good, that kind of music's okay, and I really feel like the only way that that kind of music would be bad is if you yourself made it bad, but in itself it's not. And what I mean by you yourself making it bad is if you take secular music that's not talking about God and you make it an idol. At that point, it's harmful. Same thing with anything, though. But in itself, I think it's kind of harmless. And that's just, those are just my thoughts. And I love you guys. Um, that's all. See you next time.